Hey y'all, I have been very thrown off today because my tripod broke. So I haven't been able to use that on top of being very hungover. But I rallied and I'm headed to dinner with a friend. It's just very crowded here right now and I'm trying to navigate and it's getting a little bit wild. I'm headed to Soho House for dinner, which I'm excited about because I literally have not eaten today. I've not eaten one thing. I've only had a glass of wine. <laughs> But I'm um, just excited to have dinner in frozen picante and not have to worry about speaking French. Milfe salsa caramel cookie. It's looking famous, Amos. <laughs> but uh, go off. <laughs> Cutest friends. Jade and I are shopping in Paris. Say hi, Jade, for the vlog. <laughs> um, so we're doing like a thrifting and bakery and shopping day. Everything is so cute. This bag, I will probably be back for this bag. He's bringing my shoes. Hopefully they have them. The vibe in here is crazy. I think they put this music on for us. <laughs> These are the shoes that I want. They're kind of crazy, y'all know me. A little wild. Lots of color for recording, but guess what I do anyway? Record. Like, this is something out of like easy. Yeah, like the minimalist vibe. It's dope. The mirror makes it look continuous. Oh! It messed you up. Oh, it did mess me up. I was like, wow, there's so much. Yeah. Boom. We all ordered the same exact thing. But I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Thank you. Merci. Okay, so yeah, I took my friends to this bakery, Boulangerie Liberté. Say hi, guys. Hello. Jade, CJ. We're going to be trying the puffs, aka the choux vanilla. And uh, we're going to see if they actually like it. So let's go, guys. Dig in. We'll see what they think. Y'all got to be honest. I feel like that. I don't know. Good? It's so good. Mm -mm. It's like the cream is so perfect. Like ice cream. I feel like it's like what we wanted at Soho House. I just got done shopping for the day with my friends, and then I passed by this amazing shop from before that I was telling you guys about that I would stop at every single day when I was going anywhere. But let me show you some of his designs now that he's back from vacation. Aren't these amazing? So he does all the screen printing, he does all the like threading on the bags with vintage bags. It's so dope. And he went to fashion school. He's fantastic and worldly and amazing. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, when you come to Paris, you have to support. Like, it's amazing. I got my bag right here. I love this place. Y'all, I'm back. I left here at like 1.30. I'm back now at 4.30, so I was out for maybe like three and a half hours. Oh, I'm tired. I did well in terms of shopping. I only bought one thing, which y'all just saw, from Mirko at his shop. And I think I'm gonna rest for a little bit. And then um, I have to head over. I'm doing this French cinema thing, where basically it's the only place that shows French films with English subtitles in like all of Paris, which is very French of them to do. So I'm going to that one place with a group tonight to hang out and see stuff and do all that. That's what I'll be up to. I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. Probably watch rap shit, watch an episode, and then start getting dressed. I don't know what to wear to the cinema. I was supposed to leave a while ago. I'm still sitting here. I have to be at the cinema in like 30 minutes. I don't know what's up with me. I just be not doing what I'm supposed to do. I cannot. Let me get up, I guess. Okay, this is the fit. Pretty comfortable, pretty chill. It's just going to the movies and watching some French film, but maybe the girls will want to go to drinks after. So I just decided to look a little cuter with the bag and the accessories. That's me tonight. <laughs> my first like theater, Parisian theater. This is so interesting. I mean, I feel like it looks a lot like a US one. Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's see.
Cheers! Yeah! Cheers, everybody! Okay, y'all, we about to go into this club, and I'm not gonna lie to you, we took shots on the street. <laughs> it's like we're on 6th Street, Austin, Texas, Guadalupe, whatever it is, that's what we were on. So now we're going into this rooftop club. They broke us down, we spent 20, 20 euros each, but it comes with a free drink, which I guess is not that free. So we'll see if this goes, okay? We'll see, it's looking a little empty. I ordered McDonald's because I'm hungry once again. And I'm gonna watch rap shit and go to sleep. It's almost 5.30 in the morning. This is not real life. Good morning, y'all. I got in at five o'clock in the morning and it's one now, so I got a good amount of sleep. The house is a mess. Everything is a mess. Still don't have a tripod, don't have like my vlogging stick, don't really have anything to show for myself. So I'm gonna try to figure that all out today. My arm literally hurts from holding this phone up. I'm gonna try to figure that all out today. I'm cleaning the house. The whole place needs to be cleaned. I'm like washing all the sheets. I'm folding all my clothes. I'm doing laundry, doing the dishes. Like this place is an absolute mess. I'm gonna be doing all that. And then I need to figure out what's going on with my life. Lashes. I have a Lashify kit that I brought from the state, so I'm gonna try to just fix all of this. What else? is happening today. I don't know what else is happening today. I'm gonna do that. That's pretty much the most important thing to me now because like when I have a cluttered space, I have a cluttered mind and I can't do that. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, yesterday was really fun. I met up with Jade and her boyfriend and we went to just a bunch of my favorite spots in Paris. It was really fun and then after that, I went to see this movie called Rodeo. It's a French film that was in the Cannes Film Festival. They screened it with English subtitles, which they never do in France, very particular. And then after that, I linked up with one of my friends, Jackie, and we linked up with a few of her friends that she's met in Paris. And we all just sat around and they had beers and I had wine and we just like chatted and like they were teaching me um, French slang I learned so many good words y'all and I was teaching them like English slang it was very funny to like try to like use using slang in a sentence and have them like guess what it meant so we did like trip and cat and like all these different things and it was just so funny where they were like, oh, okay. And then when it's time for the French slang, I didn't understand anything, but I thought it was hilarious. And then after that, Jackie and I went to this place called The Oz. It was like a 20 euro entrance fee, but that comes with a free drink. So whatever, it was okay. It was, it skewed very young. And I'm realizing like, it's not like, oh my God, I can't hang out with 20 year olds. But it's just like, once you're on the other side of your 20s, like the older side, the same things just don't do it for you, at least for me. And like that, it was just, it was very young. It was very young. And even the ones that were a little bit older were extremely immature. Jackie and I had this one dude like come up and like, he was like trying to dance all on us and we just kind of stepped back and we were like, ah, like we're okay. And he's like, what? And he's like dancing next to us like this. And he's just weird. And we're like, oh, we're okay. Like, we're all right, thanks. And he was like, I have money. And I was like, us too. Like, uh, what does that have to do with anything? He's like, I work for the Department of Defense. And he's like dancing all weird and crazy. And like, as if that's supposed to be like, be like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, now we're gonna dance with you. It was just weird. Like people. People were just mad weird. I don't know, I just had a few situations like that where people think you'll do whatever they say just because they have money. And we're like, babes, we're good. We are okay. Um, we are doing well for ourselves. We do not need you, Mr. Department of Defense. Okay. But the plan today, I'm supposed to be doing this like Afrobeats party thing, but I got invited to a different party that I really wanna go to. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can move the Afrobeats party. Cause the Afrobeats party is like an Airbnb thing where this guy is like taking us kind of like club hopping, like 
VIP club hopping to different clubs that play Afrobeats. So I thought that was a cool Airbnb experience, but then I got invited, actually invited to like a real party. Not that this wasn't a real party, but like a party party. And so now I wanna go to that with my friends. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. We'll see. My social life is just so packed. <laughs> So yeah, I don't figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to do both maybe, but I've already prepaid for the Airbnb one. So I'm like, probably won't let me move it. I need to like get this house together and get my life together and we'll link back up once I do that. So it's just looking very crazy in here. I wanted to show y'all the real deal because I know you can appreciate it. But basically these are returns that I need to make at Zara and H&M. So they're sitting by the door. I have just random shoes strewn everywhere. I have trash over here, like to go out to the trash bins. Random makeup and just crap all over the counters. Disorganization and mess. Uh, I need to do the dishes over here. Like I just have some of my like grocery stuff piled up, makeup, food in random places. Like the bathroom needs to be cleaned like everything is just trifling in there and then you come in here in my room and there's just like clothes everywhere food from last night i had burger king at five o'clock in the morning stuff on the floor and here it's crazy too like can you see why i have anxiety right now like there's just stuff everywhere it has to like enough it's enough please so I'm gonna get to cleaning all this crap and it's gonna make me feel so great. It's gonna make me feel amazing. So I'm gonna put on Renaissance and get to work. So five hours later, literal five, it's 5.30 now. I'm feeling so much better. The dishes are in the dishwasher, rinsing now. All my sheets are in the wash, um, washing, cleaned. The toilet, the sink. I, I didn't get to the shower, but I'll, I'll do that tomorrow for Sunday cleaning. The living room is clean. I just wiped down everything. It smells like bleach and cleaning supplies in here and I am living. Okay, problem is it's 5.30 and I haven't eaten today. So I am dressed, I just showered. I'm gonna head out and get some food and then I'm gonna go in search of a tripod and a selfie stick to help me deal with having broken mine and so hopefully I can find that pretty easily. I'm headed out to do that now. And then I'll come back and we'll get dressed for the party. Well, I've already seen this dress, but here it is from ASOS. I love it, I feel like it's so flattering. And then I got this bag at an antique flea market in New York. What the head out? Oh my God, we're back in business. I got my selfie stick tripod thing. It's perfect, I love it. Thank God I didn't freak out and go crazy. I was just like, I will find another one after Amazon wouldn't ship to France. So I'm going to have a drink at this little restaurant and then figure out what to do for the rest of the day, get dressed, do all that, make sure all my friends are in, go from there. Please. Okay, y'all, I just called the Uber. Here's the fit for tonight. You might think, oh girl, you're just wearing a blazer. But she's cute underneath. I have this really cute top from this black owned brand that I'll link below. Some denim shorts, my white boots, Balenciaga bag, Louis earrings, my glasses, and some beautiful red lipstick. I got makeup on my hair. But yeah, this is me today. Cute, cute, cute. Headed to the potty.